hey cancer welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing well this is going to be for cancer sun moon rising venus and north node please remember to take what resonates leave what does not fit okay for your situation for somebody else and also remember to just uh flip and switch the roles i could be talking about somebody else in your energy okay so let's see what comes out for you guys cancer <clears throat> the cancer sun moon rising venus north node what is going on for cancer what is going on for cancer Give me clear messages, Cancer. Please. So we have peaked already. Their glory days are over. <laughs> okay. So somebody's gonna have a bad time. Okay, somebody's gonna go through some shit. Or let's see. What else uh for cancer? What else for cancer? Somebody who can play football. Somebody can play college football. It says woke, politically woke. I mean, politically aware. For me, this card just means that um, somebody sees something now or somebody has awakened. Somebody has tuned into their 5D. Into the 5D. What else for cancer? Yeah, cursing themselves, bad decisions and regret. I'm hearing somebody sold their soul over to the devil here. Somebody like, uh, somebody did curse someone. Somebody did put a spell on somebody. And now they're in spiritual jail. They're going through karma or something like that. What else for cancer? Unconditional love, love without limits. What else for cancer? PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Hmm. Bottom of the deck is naive, romantically inexperienced, and overly <clears throat> romantic. So, what the hell is going on here, Cancer? Um, yeah. So, let me see something really quick, Cancer. <laughs> I want to get. I want to. I want to see something. Give me a second. Uh, a time in the past that is remembered for great success or happiness. Yeah, I was trying to get more meaning on what that is. Cause I, don't, I mean, I don't use that word. I mean, I don't use that phrase. Or glory, glory days are over. Shit, I don't use that. <laughs> hmm. So, yeah, that's what I that's what I thought it meant. Yeah, mm, wow, they are expected to die soon. Glory days, glorious days are over. Days are numbered when someone's days are numbered. Yeah, that, that's what I'm thinking it is. Shit, I don't know what the other meaning is. Okay, let's see. Sorry, Cancer, I just had to get uh get clear okay let's see what's going on with their their glory days are over for cancer what does that mean in this spread what is their okay judgment <laughs> so karma somebody's definitely getting karma what is their glory days are over for cancer Could be dealing with the Aries or Aquarius. What else for their glory days are over? Spirit, yeah, Ten of Wands. Mm. Mm. The Chariot, the Moon, Two of Swords, the Eight of Swords, Five of Swords, the Tower. Yeah, it looks like it, it looks like um the divine is intervening and whatever somebody did is backfiring really bad. So if they did do spell work or death spells or whatever, they probably are on their deathbed. The Ten of Wands, if something is over, like physically, I feel like somebody is hurting or they're they're really um they could be hiding this too or trying to put on the front as if they're not falling apart, but this person is, they're they're burdened. Somebody is hurting physically. The wands is like physical to me. So this person could be 
I, I don't know they're deteriorating slowly but surely okay i'm sorry about that if that's somebody's like actual loved ones but if somebody was doing some damn spell work then i mean i don't know why they would think that it would uh wouldn't backfire so what is um what is their glory days are over with this ten of wands somebody i feel like is a there's an end to a burden coming up here whatever the burden was or whoever yeah nine of cups yeah the sun leo energy yeah the knight of cups it's like somebody's being set free from something somebody is walking away from something or being set set free i was gonna say the ten of wands is like the end of a burden or the end of a challenge here somebody made it to the end of a challenge and so now wish fulfillment can come in okay with the nine of cups yeah, because somebody here was a rat behind the scenes or somebody did something here in secret to burden somebody on purpose. What is, P what is uh, their glory days are over with the nine of cups and the ten of wands? Okay, yeah, three of cups in reverse. Somebody's being let go of. Somebody here could be passing away from drinking too much or... It could be liver failure or kidney failure or whatever that is when you drink a lot. But the three of cups in reverse to me is um calling off like a certain engagement or a, a, a party that there will be no celebration or something like that. Three of cups in reverse is um, gossiping as well. We're going to see what's the ten of wands. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles in reverse, somebody is losing everything. Financially, somebody is drained. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, somebody lost everything here. And somebody's taking back their power with the Emperor, trying to regain structure and build here. Somebody could have tried to take, they tried to take something from you, Cancer, or your person. What's the Ten of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse? Somebody has no home, no car, no money, no job. Uh, somebody was trying to slow your shit down, cause delays. Yeah, four of pentacles, a thief. Four of pentacles in reverse is somebody that's being a thief. But the eight of, ace of pentacles in reverse could definitely mean that. Yeah, two of swords. Somebody wasn't seeing this here. They were blinded. The moon, the two of swords. They was confused about why their finances kept <clears throat> fucking, uh, um, was not where the fuck they put it, basically. Why they kept losing money. Four of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody has to pay out somebody a lump sum of money too. Yeah. I feel like whatever this is, is backfired. Whatever the fuck somebody did, could have been three or more people that was doing some shit. Hmm. Yeah, they have to release something or let something go. And I feel like it's the hold that they have on this money or the hold that they have on somebody. There's like somebody that has to pay something. What's this three of cups in reverse? Two of cups. What's this three of cups in reverse with the two of cups? Somebody was trying to, um, the sun, yeah. Somebody was trying to delay something here, delay a union. Yeah, the devil, the two of swords, the moon. Definitely could have been doing some damn spell work. Could be a Capricorn or another cancer you're dealing with. Or this is you, cancer, pushing through these obstacles with the chariot and the moon. Yeah, with the sun. Definitely something is being illuminated about these friends that somebody is letting go of. Or about, it could have been about another relationship that somebody was in. It could have been another lover. Or it could have just been any partnership, a friendship, or whatever. But that shit is being um, exposed. Something is coming to light. Or this person is gaining enlightenment about... I feel like they tried to come in between two lovebirds. That shit didn't work. Somebody is like gossiping or something like that. I feel like somebody let go of a lot of friends here. A lot of people that they were dealing with or whatever the fuck. They were karmic as fuck. Okay. Something has been exposed here. What's this nine of cups? Somebody here could have just lost a job. They could have been terminated or fired. Okay. Somebody lost their car or whatever. Yeah, Six of Pentacles. So equal give and take, reciprocity, balance being restored. With the Nine of Cups, this is definitely going to bring you happiness, pleasure. Okay, you're definitely going to be feeling good here. With the Six of Pentacles, there's something coming in. 
could be an emperor coming in or this is just you starting your own business here taking a risk and starting your own business doing something here that you finally want to do there is love here unconditional love love without limits yeah they try to whoever this is try to t break away a bond and, and i feel like they try to stop you by way of using your finances or they were you they were just using you they don't give a fuck who you fuck with as long as all the attention is on them but they know that once you got with this person the attention wasn't going to be on them anymore so i just feel like they were using you or using your person just period you're you stop celebrating with these people you stop partying with them or whatever and that shit is over for their ass because they're losing a lot of fucking money they lost everything whatever they took has to be paid back just period so you're being given this here things are bouncing out for you they're gonna have to pay you back or you taking their ass to court and the courts will do it. You won't have to deal with these people ever again. <laughs> wow. What is uh, woke right here for cancer? What is woke? Yeah, the hermit. Going through a spiritual awakening. Being awakened. Going in isolation and solitude here. You're shining a light on all the snakes that you had around you. The deception, the betrayal, the whatever. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Definitely going within, trying to figure out what you want, what it is that's going to make you happy, how you're going to move forward, just a whole bunch of shit. But definitely you were shining a light on um some bullshit here. You're very wise or you're very smart. Or this is somebody that is woke, that is a hermit. Somebody here could be a, um, a therapist or a counselor. Somebody's pretty much a loner, really. And this is why they ask so smart <laughs> to, to me. I mean, not saying that all loners are, that's the reason why all loners are smart. It's just when you don't involve yourself with a lot of energies, you have time to regroup and, you know, figure yourself out. But still, you're still able to pay attention to whatever else is going on around you. So I feel like that's how somebody is. Somebody very much so is quiet. What's woke with the hermit? Okay, temperance in reverse, Sagittarius energy. Somebody here could be um could overindulge in certain things. It could be drinking, it could be um sex, it could be anything. Okay, the tower. But the temperance in reverse is like overindulgence. I feel like um there are people around you that are antagonists, like they antagonize you, they're very selfish or greedy. I just feel like I feel like somebody has went within to see why they were to see why they were so unbalanced. And they started looking at people around them and, and started putting two and two two and two together. What is this uh, woke card with the hermit and the temperance in reverse? Could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Yeah, ten of cups in reverse. So definitely uh, somebody called off some shit with somebody. I know they mad. <laughs> yeah, eight of swords. Yeah, somebody called off some shit with somebody. I know they mad. <laughs> yeah, I feel like somebody's been stuck somewhere for a while in this family situation. This could be uh, somebody that you have a share of kids with here. The Ten of Cups in Reverse is an unhappy family. It's a breakup. It's a divorce. It's a, I don't know. Somebody realized something about their family members. What is the Ten of Cups in Reverse? Yeah, well, the Fortune A is getting that karma. <laughs> the karma is on that ass. Yeah, I feel like they're in spiritual jail or something, and you're going to be set free. You guys will be seeing 888. Yeah, things are going to come back and balance for you. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Okay. Could be dealing with the um, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. I say Sagittarius already. Leo's here. Virgo. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. They're going through karma. Things are turning in your favor, though. There was definitely some chaos and upheaval going on. I feel like the divine definitely inter intervened here with this. What is this temperance right here in reverse? I feel like you're realizing a lot of these people are definitely unhinged. They're crazy. Seven of Wands. Yeah. I feel like you're you're realizing why you were so guarded or why things were, were, why you always felt depressed or down or hurt or imbalanced or something was always missing from your life. It's because they were trying to like, I feel like these people around you are very, um, they're very dark. I don't know. Yeah, you're realizing what and who makes you happy. Once you got rid of these friends or this, these people here, now you can finally see clearly where your happiness lies. It, it lies with this Two of Cups. Whoever this Two of Cups is for you, Cancer, or vice versa. 
<clears throat> what is um cursing themselves bad decisions and regret so seven of wands is you standing up for yourself as well as you definitely defending yourself against something or people that's trying to attack you yeah king of cups what's this cursing themselves bad decisions and regret okay the world so definitely something is over a cycle is definitely closing out you successfully closed something yeah now these people this this shit backfired i feel like they, they put a curse on you or a spell on you that shit really backfired because you successfully closed the cycle or your person did you closed the cycle with these people and you did it the right way yeah death a lot of these people could be actually passing away or whatever this is they try to do to you just backfire whatever the fuck it is now they 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 know that they fucked up they regret or whatever the fuck yeah what is um hmm. what is cursing themselves with the world so you're being rewarded for closing this cycle you're the lovers gemini energy These people wanted you to leave your empress out in the cold or they didn't want you to start a business over you. I just feel like they just, these family members of yours, they just hate you. They really wanted to kind of like take your spot in life. They wanted to control everything that you did. They're, they're losers. Yeah, but I do feel like there's love here with the lovers and the two of cups showing up here. I feel like um, that was a missed opportunity, but now that something has closed out, it can come back around. Okay, some of you guys could be connecting to somebody that you met online through social media or something like that. This person could have a different, they could be of a different ethnicity. Okay, they could live at a distance from you possibly as well. But this is a very strong connection that you have with somebody. What's cursing themselves with the lovers in the world? Um, Yeah, the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. Yeah, so now, now I feel like a connection can come back together. Because there was definitely some injustice done to a connection. When the justice shows up, I just feel like there was some bad shit that happened. Okay. For some of you, I feel like this person either choose their family. Because the lovers doesn't have to just mean two lovers. It could mean, most of the time it probably does mean romantic lovers. Okay, but I feel like whenever you love somebody, that could just be a strong connection you have with anybody. Friends, family, whatever. But whatever the situation was, I feel like another lover tried to get in the way or another family member or, or somebody like that tried to get in the way of a connection. Who's this empress? Yeah, three of pentacles. Somebody that you're supposed to work with. You're supposed to create something with. Okay, uh, build something with. Yeah, the star. This person is seen in the public eye here. Three of wands, definitely third party situation. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius okay and aquarius could be significant but i feel like somebody's very spiritual very creative very innovative here They're, they have a nice body this person is definitely seen in the public eye they could be a healer yeah i feel like somebody's a star seed you and this person could be a star seed you and your your person y'all could be light workers here or something they're different type of star seeds okay you just have to figure out which one you are i guess go look that up but yeah there's somebody here that's in love with you there's a new cycle closing and and i mean there's a new cycle beginning and one closing so you're going to be rewarded this relationship whatever this is these people back here looks like sad mad assholes that's all that is and now you're going to go work with somebody that you're supposed to work with i feel like somebody's a very powerful manifester they're very stable they're very secure within themselves they're divine feminine give me a second guys my food out there <laughs> bad cancer very very sorry so yeah judgment at the bottom of the deck this is somebody that is um wants your forgiveness yeah you, somebody here could be a strong air sign aquarius maybe yeah with the it could be a taurus with a star and all these swords right here or a scorpio yeah there's there's a bond that's unbreakable with you and somebody here cancer most definitely 
what's the unconditional love love without limits okay the star yeah you and your person are meant to be together or y'all are meant to come together for something could be for work purposes could be for love whatever but spirit set you and this person up to be together for a reason both of you guys could be stars here both of you guys could be very spiritual you have a deep spiritual connection with this person definitely was written in the stars whatever this is both both of y'all are very creative as well what's unconditional love with the star so healing is being taken place i feel like you healed this person or both of, this love is very healing to both of you yeah the six of wands somebody seen in the public eye somebody that gets a lot of attention okay they have a lot of confidence too this person is not cocky or, or arrogant they're just very confident but definitely something nice coming in you're going to be rewarded for all the work that you put in when it comes down to this damn i don't know somebody was doing some spell work or something like that but i feel like this love held everything together you and this person y'all never split even if y'all had to split in the 3d and the 5d y'all were always like this like very much so um I don't know. It sounds like Twin Flame. But what's unconditional love with the Six of Wands and the Star? So something here is going to be healed. Yeah, the Fool. Aquarius Strong is, is here. Aquarius Aries Energy. So yeah, there's a new beginning. Somebody's taking a leap of faith towards you, Cancer. Most definitely. This is so nice. <laughs> I love seeing people defeat enemies together. Even separately. And a lot of people don't understand that type of love. I feel like that's beautiful. So there's healing being taken place here. And there's a new beginning coming. Somebody wants to win you over, win you back. Somebody wants to be in the spotlight with your ass. They want to be, they want to go on this journey with you here. This love journey. Somebody's in love with you. <laughs> this person is in love. They could have a little bit of PTSD. So let's see. What is post-traumatic stress disorder? Okay, two of pentacles. Yeah. The devil so that could be what's eating this person was eating at this person they had they're suffering from a um like a mental illness because of what they've been through they could have been they could have worked in the military or been some type of veteran here this person suffers from a lot of trauma they do two of pentacles let's see what's what's post-traumatic stress disorder with the two of pentacles Okay, Eight of Swords. So this is somebody healing that. Eight of Swords in reverse with the Two of Pentacles. So this is coming back into balance. Somebody releasing the um the the mental burdens that they feel. Yeah, somebody coming out of mental anguish and healing and doing the work. Coming back into balance. What is um what else for PTSD with the Two of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords in reverse? So, yeah, I feel like this person or this is you. Yeah, the emperor. Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Aries energy. So, yeah, this person is coming back and they're getting their lives together. They want to be your emperor to the empress here. Counterparts is here with the lovers, two of cups. Yeah, definitely twin flame energy. Yep, this person is definitely coming out of a time of feeling trapped, stuck in their mind. This person suffer, suffer from depression for a while anxieties worries always stressing about something yeah yep now these people that they that's fighting five of five of wands nine of swords ten of pentacles because you're about to get this ten of pentacles they're spicing shit about money definitely fighting shit about money <laughs> i feel like these people whoever these are your family members they've been betraying they've been betraying somebody for years like since somebody was a child type of shit that shit is crazy to me so let's get some advice for you, Cancer. So this is your person coming back into balance things with you. This love is unconditional, child. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's beautiful. Bottom of the deck is bow. I said bow. <laughs> wow a new beginning you're at the beginning of a wonderful journey there's no need to have any fear as guardian angels walk beside you every step of the way you have unique gifts to offer the world if you will just free yourself from that which holds you back new opportunities will present themselves if you truly believe so that is the fool again 
Somebody's definitely an Aquarius or Aries. What else for the advice? Okay, thank you, Spirit. So number six, the lovers. Open your heart. Allow love to grow and bloom all around you. You've waited for this emotionally fulfilling experience for such a long time, and now the time has come. Make your choices by listening to your heart and then following the steps you're guided to take. Joy will lead you to a vibrant, healthy life. Three of emotion, three of cups. Wonderful news is on its way. Announcements regarding engagements, pregnancies, births, or graduations will be revealed. New friends will be made or communities of like-minded people will draw closer to one another. Exciting new beginnings or happy endings are just around the corner. Wow, this is so freaking nice. So messenger of emotion, this is page of cups. This is the beginning of a new emotional experience that could grow into something deeper. You may receive a message expressing feelings that you didn't even know you were developing. A social invitation could soon be on its way to you. There's a person involved who's very gentle and loving with only the kindness of intentions. It could be you, especially if you're artistic, shy, and sensitive. Bottom of the deck is nine of emotion, nine of cups. Child, y'all got some good shit coming to y'all, Cancer. I love it. That's so beautiful. You're reconciling with somebody. You're reconciling with someone. Your person, your your match, your divine counterpart. What's going on with this uh, Cancer spirit? Let's get some more clarity. Congratulations, guys. I like when twins come together. <laughs> That's the most powerful love. So if y'all can beat this out, y'all can do anything, really. Happiness, prosperity, conclusions. Beautiful. Beautiful. What else? Mixed emotions, complex, bittersweet. Yeah, so somebody is healing. Somebody's healing from whatever this is. It is bittersweet because it's like, damn, you thought that you could trust these people or these people were, were all for your highest good. They're not. They're snakes. So it is bittersweet for somebody. What else? Okay, commitment. Wedding, next level. So definitely somebody taking things to the next level. This person could have broke up with somebody with commitment in reverse. Okay, but... It says blown away, amazed, unexpected. And then we have have fun, party, lighten up. Bottom of the deck is fear, worries, and doubts. Yeah. So this person has a lot of fears. They they go through a lot of anxiety and depression, this person. They suffer from some shit here. But definitely something is happening where spirit is working behind the scenes to <clears throat> get you two together here. So if that was your wish, if that was what you manifested is coming back in, don't be like, oh, well, it's too late now. No. <laughs> for some of y'all, it is. I mean, hey, but for others of you, what's going on for Cancer Spirit? Bottom of the deck, we have sabotages your work, draining your pr productive energy and resources and becoming successful. Yeah, it's your, your bum-ass family or whoever the fuck family it is. They bummy as hell. Uh, I don't like people like that. What else for cancer? It says independent, free from control, liberated, beautiful, beautiful. Slacking off at work, online shopping and partakes in office gossip. So these could be people that you work with, you were in a business with, or actually at work. They sabotage shit for you here. What else? It says, gets off on gossip, sips the tea while smiling as long as it's not about them. <laughs> Addicted to porn, damages their relationships and interrupts their daily life. So somebody here could have a sex addiction, porn addiction. Okay. Somebody here could. I don't know. It could have been your person, maybe. I don't know. What else? Maybe that's what they're healing from, or it could have been these weird ass third parties. They're just weird as fuck anyway. Yo yo dieting. Too many fads and not enough routine. Somebody here could have a um eating addiction as well, or some type of addiction where it comes down to food. Your weight could be fluctuating right now. Or somebody's weight could be fluctuating. I don't know what that really means, but okay. It says sticks to the script, period. Does not deviate or becomes a divergent. Some of y'all could definitely not be from here. You're star seeds or something. Same shit, different day. Yeah, something is just like the same shit for somebody. It's annoying. <clears throat> Dead weight. Oppressive burdens, too heavy to carry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tax evasion. Wesley Snipes level of crime. <laughs> 
So somebody here could have definitely did something with some paperwork, tax paperwork or something like that. What else for cancer? Hmm. bottom of the deck we have uses others resources <clears throat> exploits and takes advantage yeah the type of people that somebody had around them then it says bad hygiene body odor and or bre bad breath <laughs> so i feel like somebody's just dusty they dirty and they fucking try to ruin your reputation or ruin your life with their stupid ass a girl or boy bye please it says throw shade contempt for and or discuss with someone so somebody was throwing shade when it comes down to either your person or you or whatever it says faking for sympathy so somebody here is faking it plays dumb it ain't my fault did i do that <laughs> so somebody here plays dumb like they don't know what the fuck they did or it says altruistic unselfish and giving then it says sleeping with the boss literally sleeping their way to the top so somebody here i don't know uh, you know how that res resonates for you uh Somebody was sleeping with their boss here or something like that. Hmm. Well, well, well. Damn, I forgot what the title was going to be. I just forgot that fast. I should have wrote it down. Oh, okay. Let's see. For Cancer Spirit, what's going on for Cancer, please? Bottom of the deck is Queen of Earth, so Queen of Pentacles, Taurus energy, so the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus, but definitely a commitment is coming. It could be a woman that you're going after, or you could be the woman here, Cancer. Maybe you have Earth somewhere in your chart. For some of you, this is happening a year from now. All right, I don't know. Take that how it resonates. Don't, don't get mad at me about the timing. <laughs> it says... Uh, or somebody's birthday could be between, obviously, April 22nd through May 21st. We passed that time. Okay. It says during the spring. So maybe something happened in the spring. But the Hierophant, that's um a commitment coming. Okay. That's, that's definitely a commitment. What else? Or some of you guys are stepping into a leadership role, a leadership position. You're, you're spiritually high rank here. What else for Cancer, please? Let's get a few more for Cancer. All right, thank you, Spirit. We have Saturn, the regulator, the world. So the world hit here twice. It says accomplishment, duty, responsibility, completion of cycles, governing time, matter, structure, achievement, commitments, boundaries, integration, and restriction. So definitely um, you've accomplished something, just period. Then it says Venus goddess of love so the empress you could be dealing with a strong taurus placement the empress is taurus along with libra okay so i feel like you find somebody very attractive some of you guys could be creating something new for yourself i don't know but you're definitely you've definitely accomplished a lot and i feel like you're being rewarded for your success you're very successful or something like that okay most definitely that then we have the sun leo energy Wow, look at the majors, the Hierophant, the World, the Empress, the Sun, and these th this deck too. Okay. Somebody's sun sign could be Taurus. Okay, or it could be a Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. It could be somebody's sun sign, but strong Taurus energy it could be a Libra too. Yeah, then we have Wolverine. Fierce, unpredictable, wild, power struggles, assertive, possessive, rene renegade, fearless, determined, and elusive. I feel like somebody planned this out, really planned this out, and they successfully closed this out for real. There could have been somebody that was holding you back or possessive or whatever this is. There was a power struggle between you and someone else, but you closed it. You managed to close this cycle out here. You you were determined to get your ass out of this shit. I feel like you find somebody to be very unpredictable. You don't know what they're going to do. That's probably why you're stressed, Cancer. If you are stressed about this love offer, I just feel like this person is very, they're very, uh, strategic it could be an air sign but it could be a taurus too they take things really slow they're very practical minded as i'm a taurus so of course i would know taurus sun and moon okay then we have clouds 
thought problems, doubts, hesitations, beyond view, unclear, yeah, confusion, indecision, misunderstandings, yeah, under the empress. So I feel like whoever this empress is, if it's you, you guys are confused as fuck. You don't know what your person is doing. <laughs> but here they come. Yeah, so what is this? Um, What's this clouds about? Let me see. What's the clouds about? What's this clouds card about, spirit, please? Mercury, messenger of the gods, the magician. Hmm. Somebody here could be a Virgo or a Gemini. What's Cloud with the Magician? Um. Okay, Princess of Water. So Water sign Pisces energy with the Moon. Yeah, somebody was doing some type of spell work or something like that. Could, be, could have been a woman doing this. Or it could have been a man. It's a man here and a woman. What is this clouds with the magician and the moon? Yeah, ball and chain. Yeah. Heavy and weighed down. Codependent. Trap. Restrictions. Addictions. And unhappy marriage. Emotional baggage. Yeah, with the magician and the moon. And with the clouds card here. Causing doubt. Causing fears. Causing somebody to be hesitant towards their empress. Which is you. Causing indecisions. There's a misunderstanding between you and this person. That y'all need to talk. Just period. Don't be so mean, Cancer. Because I know y'all ready to throw somebody away. <laughs> What's Wolverine? Yeah, look. Didn't I say? After I just said, don't be so mean. Swan, soulmate, twin flame, the one, a pair of things. Deep soul connection, blooming love, faith, divination, fluidity. Yeah, so this person. Oh, look. Bottom of the deck is fall, full moon. Yes, the time has come. So something is happening right now. Culmination of effort, completion, abundance, fulfillment, release fruits of your labor, focus on your needs, harvest, moving on. Yeah, so I feel like, yeah, you and your person are getting ready to kind of like come together. Yeah, and bridge, and bridge the gap between you two. Communication, unite, connecting. Crow, memories, remembering, mystery, magical power. A new event or happening right now. Clever problem solver, observant, and omen. Okay, then we have spring, new moon. Yes, spring into action. New beginnings, fresh excitement. This is so nice. I don't know. This is very nice. <laughs> you guys are building a legacy with this person. Most definitely. So this was your reading. Very beautiful reading, Cancer. Y'all defeated this spell work or whatever the fuck this was. You definitely defeated it. I love that energy. So like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on to all. Hit the all button by the notification bell so that way you guys can get my, um, my readings when I post. Okay, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.